Hey everybody, it's Don with the Phoenix Flipper YouTube channel, and this is your weekly dose of what sold on eBay during the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, before we begin, uh, we are on a mission to increase our subscribers, so um, please hit the subscribe button and the like button. Leave some comments below. It, it helps uh, keep the channel active, and it'll uh, notify you when we uh, post new content and new videos. Uh, so if you like what you see, Hit, with, hit the like button and subscribe, and thank you. Um, sales update, it's been a great uh, couple weeks of sales. Um, sales remain strong. We officially surpassed March today uh, in our sales. Um, we're about 55% above last year. March is generally our strongest month, but that one week there where the NBA player uh, announced that they had COVID and the NBA and the Major League Baseball, they all canceled their seasons. I think everybody kind of took a step back and they weren't spending as much. They wanted to kind of see how things were panning out. Um, but as people get bored, uh, they're sitting around, they got time in their hands and they, uh, they're shopping and we're selling everything right now. Uh, it's not just games and toys. Um, those are going strong. We're selling a lot of games and toys and, uh, uh you know, uh, board games and whatnot, but, uh, everything is selling, uh, everything from, Makeup, hair dye, uh, clothing, shoes, you name it. Um, sales have never been never been stronger. So if you have those death piles, make sure you get that stuff listed because uh, there's a lot of people shopping right now and uh, you know don't don't pass up on that opportunity. We even scaled back at our promoted listings and sales are still uh, still growing growing strong. So um, here in Arizona, um, we are on the uh, the official lockdown. Um, you know, we have uh, some essential businesses that are open, like everybody else. Um, that includes golf courses, uh, if you can believe it or not. But uh, the governor announced uh, about a week and a half, excuse me, about two weeks ago, that uh, Goodwills could open back up. Um, they were a huge resource to lower income, the lower income communities, and they provided um, job opportunities and, and whatnot. So they did allow them to open up. They started and opened up 20 stores. And uh, just this last week, they opened up a 20 more, 20 more stores. Now, um, they are a little bit slow to restock. Uh, they do have a lot of inventory in hand, but uh, um, you know they're installing plexiglass at the stores. They're um, uh, doing social distancing with the markers where people can't line up more than uh, six feet apart at the at the checkup lines. Uh, they're sanitizing uh, the carts uh, when you go to put your cart back. They're making sure you put it on one side of the store so they can clean it, and then. Uh, put it back in inventory they're wearing masks and gloves and um, just uh, I feel you know pretty comfortable uh, going into their stores right now so um, yeah so um, you know we'll probably see that in other parts of the country as uh, different parts open up um, but uh, I'm fortunate enough that I do still have a, a death pile and uh, but the inventory uh, is, is coming in strong so uh, right now we're looking for uh, a lot of clothing. Um, I'm a major clothing seller, so uh, shorts and uh, polo shirts and um, summer shoes and whatnot. That's kind of what we're on the lookout for. But uh, had some really uh, kind of interesting items that sold in our store this week. So um, again, it's been very productive. So without uh, delay, let's jump into the first item. All right, the first item that sold was this Clairol Nice and Easy hair dye. Um, for those that have watched my channel in the past or, or um, follow me, um, you know I talk about the back wall. And uh, that's where uh, usually, uh, at least here in Phoenix, there's a whole back wall, these little bags. Um, they could have anything in it from makeup to uh, toothbrushes to... Um, scrapbooking uh, items tape you name it it's just this little grab bag usually they're uh two three four five dollars and um sometimes there's some really good stuff in there and hair dye especially uh older hair dye like this that's sealed um generally you know someone will buy this hair dye and they'll really love it and then uh clairol or whoever they'll discontinue it and the only place that uh you know, someone could find it is on on eBay. So um, not huge money, but uh, quick sellers. This was uh, I probably paid again two or three dollars for this. Uh, probably bought it with a coupon. Um, it was this uh, Clairol Nice and Easy. Um, here's another one 
that sold. This one sold within 24 hours. It was uh, for $24 um, with free shipping, but uh, it was uh, Garnier. So um, just make sure they're sealed. Um, you know, the packaging is pretty pretty intact and uh, these things can be real quick sellers for you. So um, again, along, so along those lines with uh, the back wall and some of the makeup and whatnot, um, this was kind of a cool sell. Um, it was this Disney Resort um, lotion. So this is when you stay at a hotel, um, usually housekeeping every day, they, they load you up with uh, lotion and shampoo and whatnot and someone took it home. So, uh, and then they donated it. So uh, Disney having such a great following, um, I, you know, we, we scanned it, I scanned everything that at, at the store and I, I try to look in these bags as much as I can. Um, again, probably paid two or $3 for this, uh, for these, uh, these lotions, but, uh, it was a $33 sale, which included shipping. Um, it did go out first class. So, um, keep your eye out again for that, uh, that back wall. And, uh, you know, I'll say it over and over and over again. There's, there's money to be made. So, um, Next item that's old, for, again, for those that have watched my channel in the past, um, you know I sell golf clubs. Uh, my channel actually started out, uh, it was called, um, it was called uh, uh, Southwest Golf, golf and Games, or something along those lines. Uh, I was going to specialize in golf clubs and video games. Um, here in Phoenix, this is a set of pings. This is where pings are made and there's a lot of retirees. So these are a little bit older, um, but they have a following. Uh, they don't make these clubs anymore. So uh, someone that you know loves these clubs and uh, they, they lose them or they break them or whatnot, um, again, eBay is the only place they can go for these these older pings. And this, this did take a little bit uh, a while to sell. Um, the grips were not in the greatest condition, but uh, I took a best offer. Actually, I, I did a offer to Likers uh, for $129 uh, down from $141. That did include shipping. Shipping was $21. Um, I believe we paid $10, $12 for these, so that's about a $90 profit on, on these pings. And we did ship it out in a medium um, uh, tube from the post office. I did get them all in there, and, uh, and uh, it was just a great sale. So anytime you can find these older pings, uh, they are um, almost instant money. So, well, not instant money, but uh, guaranteed money so um, really good keep your eye out for for golf clubs and especially pings um, again uh, one of the things I, I look for in the, the store um, you know I try to extract as much value from all areas of the store and I, I really uh, this in with coronavirus and whatnot um, games games and toys are selling like hotcakes and uh, I actually had this in my death pile <laughs> we had about Two to three hundred of these uh, Bakugan, um, uh, little, they're like little balls that when you drop them on a card, a magnetic card, they open up and they, um, they're a form of some type of a robot or a monster or, or uh, they're, they're actually kind of kind of cool, kind of intricate. Um, but we, uh, we've sold almost, I think almost or all of our lots of these. Uh, this one was a, a 55. Um, had 55 uh, Battle Brawlers. It sold for $79.97 with free shipping. I was able to fit this into a flat, uh, padded flat rate mailer, so it cost $7.52, I think, to send these out. Um, and I probably paid uh, two or three bucks for these. So huge profit. Um, and you know, don't pass those games up. Don't pass those toys up. Um, you know, there's some really good money to be had with, um, again, these Bakugans. There's uh, you know, Little People and uh, Monster High. There's just a ton. Uh, American Doll. Uh, you know, there's just a ton of money to be had um, selling toys on eBay. So don't pass these up. Always go through the games. If you see any of the games with, that are sealed in the packaging, um, look them up. Scan them. Because they're right now, especially, and we don't know how long this is going to last, people are getting bored. They're, um, they've played Clue only so many times. They, they need some fresh, uh, from some fresh games. And, uh, you know, if they don't want to go out of the house, they'll, uh, they'll order them on eBay. So keep your eye out. Um, next item, the, uh, th these were, uh, cricket cartridges. My wife actually is a huge scrapbooker. And as my uh, death pile started to deplete, um, we started looking at stuff that she could sell um, in her scrapbook area. So um, we had about 20 of these, and you know we were going to donate them, but 
I, I said, hey, let me scan them. I need some stuff to, to list. And lo and behold, these, uh, these sell for right around $20. And, you know, that does include shipping. So um, not huge profit, but uh, these things have been flying off the shelves. These are a little bit older. My wife's had these for uh, five, ten years. But uh, apparently you can buy one of the new uh, crickets and you can um, link these and, and kind of upload all these old patterns um, <clears throat> electronically. So uh, my wife never linked them up, so that makes them a little bit more valuable. Um, this one was a, a lot that sold uh, of three, uh, so we, we pulled in about $63, uh, um, including shipping. So the ROI on these, um, you know, my wife did pay a lot, but they again, we were going to donate these, so it was uh, was kind of uh, found money to be had. So uh, we are selling stamps and uh, Cricut cartridges and scrapbook um, items because people are cooped up and they've got time in their hands. And uh, so if you've got these laying around, if you've got a wife like mine, um, make sure you go through your stuff and, and see what uh, see what sells. So next item, um, I am a big clothing seller um, and uh, um, some brands that are selling right now, um, Ed Hardy and uh, Christian Ottinger, and I probably pronounced that wrong, uh, they're still selling. They're still selling. These, uh, although not huge money, I think I paid about 4 or $5 for these at the thrift store. Um, they have rhinestones right in this area. You can't really tell. Let's see if I can scoot over. It has rhinestones. It's embellished. Um, it has some uh, kind of script, uh, metallic writing. Uh, we sold these for $24.97 plus $5.99 shipping. Uh, it took a couple days to sell, and I believe we paid $3.99, $4 to, uh, to ship these out. So um, only lasted a few days in my store. So um, keep your eye out for Ed Hardy. Um, I know it's you know not uh, uh, in trend anymore, but uh, they seem to sell uh, quite good on eBay. So um, you'll know it as you're going on the, the aisle. These will always stick out. You know exactly what they are. Um, they sell shirts like this and, and pants and shorts and whatnot. So keep your eye out for uh, for Ed Hardy and uh, again Christian Audiger, I, I guess. <laughs> um, next item that sold. Um, this one is actually I love finding these at uh, at garage sales and uh, sometimes thrift stores. But uh, you know what people will do is they will um, buy a new car. They'll drive the car for a week or two. Um, they'll order their custom uh, plastic mats, um, uh, Weather Guard, I think is the brand or whatnot, and then they'll take their old mats and they'll um, they'll just discard them. And uh, I paid $2 for these at a garage sale. Um, you know, you're going to want to look for, um, I, I would look them all up. Uh, you know, the Nissans and whatnot, they're going to be, uh, and Mazdas, they're going to be uh, a lot of them out there because uh, they're a real popular car. But some of the high-end brands like Audi and uh, Mercedes, people have a little bit more money to replace these mats, um, uh, you know, uh, BMW, that kind of thing. Um, and you'll always be able to tell most of the time if these are newer, because again, they're always in pretty good condition because people will only use them for about a week. Um, you have these little tags. So um, it's a, it's basically a part number. You, uh, you just load it into eBay. Uh, you'll pull up comps and, uh, you know, you turn this two, three dollar sale into 59.97 with shipping and you know the way i ship these out is i actually roll them up and i send them in a uh, in kind of a small um a small tube or you know a uh a, a cylindrical uh type box so real good sellers this one did take a little bit while this a little bit while a little while to sell um but uh, real good money and uh again keep your eye out for uh for car mats uh, next item, again, we were getting kind of desperate. Uh, the thrift stores here in Phoenix just opened back up, and they didn't have a lot of their inventory loaded yet. I stay away from glass uh, like it's a, like it's the coronavirus or it's a, it's a plague. So, um, but these are so cool, and again, I needed items to uh, fresh items to kind of put in my store, and these looked a little bit old. They were in the box. Uh, they're all in great condition. Did look up comps, and I believe we paid about three, four dollars for these. And uh, comps they sold for, um, sorry, not comps. We sold these for thirty-three dollars, including shipping. Um, they didn't weigh too much. Um, I did pad them down quite a bit. Um, yeah, I'm always afraid. I did uh, put exclusions. I didn't ship these overseas, obviously. Didn't ship these to Alaska or Hawaii. 
um, or you know APOs or whatnot. So I did put some restrictions on it, and they actually sold pretty quickly. So um, again, in these times, I'm uh, I'm looking at some different items to uh, put in my store uh, just to kind of keep the inventory fresh and keep my listings going. And uh, it's opening my eyes to some some different things. So will I become a glass seller? Probably not. Um, there's just a lot of uh, a lot of issues with this kind of stuff, and uh, I'd rather stay away. But uh, for now, uh, good sale, I'll take the money, and I'll run. So, uh, next item is uh, this uh, this blanket. It was a uh, Biderlac blanket. Um, I've talked about these in some of the groups that I uh, that I'm a, a member of um, on Facebook, and uh, these blankets always look out for this brand. There's a couple brands out there that really really sell. Um, San Marcos is another another brand that's a, a big seller. Um, usually the, the brands that sell are the ones with the uh, lions. They'll have tigers on them. Um, sometimes they'll have deer or horses or whatnot. But the lions and tigers are the ones that really a lot of people look out for. Um, I bought this one. I actually bought the three of these exact same uh, style. They looked new. I couldn't claim that they were new. Um, I did, you know, put extra use, extra uh, excellent use condition on these. Um, they smelled new, but uh, just, I just I didn't know, so I, I did sell them used. Uh, these sold for $49.97. Uh, it, it was about $12 to ship this out. Blankets are a little bit heavier, but uh, you know I paid $3 or $4 for this, and it was a really great uh, return on the investment. And again, like I said, I got three of these, so I've got two more um, that uh, hopefully will sell here in the near future. So it's it's summer here in Phoenix and it's hard to uh, believe that anyone's buying blankets right now. Uh, we hit our first 100 degree day um, just uh, this week. So, but uh, hey, I'm gonna take the money and, uh, and and run. So, and and then lastly, the uh, you know items that are still selling for me. Um, you know, I'm I used to be a bigger jean seller. Um, you know, I'd go into a thrift store when I was a new new thrifter or a new uh, eBayer. Um, and on dollar day, and I would just buy every pair of jeans for a buck um, that was, you know, a certain that were a certain uh, color tag, and I'd throw them up here. But uh, you know, I learned my lesson, and now uh, for the most part, there's only a couple brands that I really focus on, and one of those is uh, Rock Revival. Rock Revival, their their value has uh, diminished a little bit over the last year, year and a half. Um, men's jeans will sell for more than women's jeans but uh you know don't pass them up if you can pick them up for five to ten dollars i see these at garage sales all the time uh some people will want a lot of money for them and and uh, just pass them up if they do um but others will you know they'll want five bucks for them and um that's probably um you know the, the buy point that you want to to uh to buy these these for so these here uh just some uh white low rise a uh, little bit smaller of a size size 28 um, they were white, which uh, is not the standard uh, Rock Revival color, but, uh, you know, pulled in a nice little profit. It was about $40, which uh, included shipping on these. So um, you'll know these. I'll, I'll actually go to the next one here. These are actually some shorts that sold. These were men's shorts, sold for um, about $60. Bucks. Um, I think I did offer a 7% discount with uh, um, offer to, to likers, but you'll know these... Uh, rock revivals they'll have this really cool tag that's metallic and leather and then they'll have some pretty pretty good um, embellishment on the pockets and you know sometimes they'll have uh, you know just uh, really um, um, ornamental uh, buttons and just uh, a lot of a lot of bling and uh, flash to these so and then the last brand um, that uh, that really does well for me is diesel and uh, again this was kind of a I think an underappreciated brand um, I sell uh, anything diesel really sells in my store pretty quickly um, jeans sell for a good profit I probably paid about five dollars for these and they sold for um, fifty dollars including shipping but uh, they also make shirts and uh, the shoes do really well they have uh, leather shoes that um, they're kind of like a sneaker and they they do really well for me in my store I've sold quite a few of those so um, still keep an eye out for those those jeans again it's coming into summertime and I'm stocking my store uh, mostly with uh, jeans and shirts and polos and whatnot um, but uh, don't pass these up um, because uh, these kind of these brands uh, still sell so um, with that that concludes uh, 
my top 10, I think I put, probably put 12 in there this week, uh, items that sold on eBay. Um, it's been a really good week, and uh, we hope that uh, we can continue the sales into, uh, into May. So thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe below, hit the like button, and uh, that will notify you when we post new content. And uh, we really appreciate you watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.